Hey guys, it's Rachel from the Little Rain Lamb, and today's a different kind of video than what was originally scheduled. I'm also filming on this side of my room because I'm just trying out a new camera location. There is my full length mirror behind the camera right now, so I can actually see if I'm in frame and see myself, which I can't when I'm filming in front of my bookcase. So if I just try filming over here just for a change, and also sorry if it gets kind of dark, um, yeah, the lighting just constant struggle. Um, but anyway, basically, Wednesday is also. Was Wednesday I was supposed to post a top five Wednesday video which was called summer read or top five summer reads but if you guys want to see that video still I will put up a video where I just talk about my favorite summer reads because that can be a topic and just link the top five Wednesday page on another day and today was supposed to be my series review of parenthood but of course you're obviously not seeing that and that will be posted sometime soon that is still coming up on my channel that's not going to be erased so if you're looking forward to that don't fret it will be eventually be posted and filmed and all that but I thought I'd just make this video because there might be a few days that I miss in the next few months um uh if you did not know this I am actually taking the year off school I just finished up my undergraduate degree and approved for graduation just checked today um and I'm very excited about that but I want to take a year off because I really need to recharge get healthy um and I want to give it my all I want to go to teachers college has always been my dream and I want to really be able to show them that I am there I'm clear-minded I'm focused and I'm ready to do my best job possible because that is a job that I feel like a lot of people go into not seriously but I'm very serious about it because it is a very serious subject and a very serious profession like people just joke and go oh you're gonna be like a teacher whatever but I take it very seriously because you are teaching the next generation and it's a very serious occupation um, and I want to be in the right mindset to do my best job because it's what I've always wanted to do. I have great passion for it and I know for sure that that's what I'm meant to do. That's, I'm pretty sure, like I can be as confident as I want, like plans do change, like of course, but that's how I've always felt and I still feel that way and that could potentially change. But basically going off from that is also why I'm taking a year off is because I need to work a bit on my health. Now last year, um, it, it has to do with my August thing when I was away for a week or two I forget how long it was when I was really sick and um, just trying to it's not life or death like it's not gonna kill me I'm not dying um, but it's something that's not good for my health and can affect certain things when I get older um, and I don't really want to get too far into it because I know I could say like oh, I'm sorry for not explaining but I know you guys don't expect me to straight up tell you and like you know, we have this barrier where I will be as honest as I possibly can, but obviously I want to keep stuff close to the vest. So, you know, I'll be only so much honest as, like, I can. Um, and I'm not going to apologize for that because it is my personal business. And I know, like, I don't need to do, like, an explanation video, but as being a fan of other YouTubers and stuff like that, I feel like sometimes when you've been watching somebody for a long time and sometimes the videos, like, I've been pretty consistent throughout my years and pretty on top of everything. So if it's going to get a little bit rocky and stuff like that, I want to make a video to be clear and keep us all on the same page because as a viewer I know how that can be frustrating and um, I just want to be most consistent and mostly like I want to be the most genuine version of myself I can now be. Now going with that um, not only is it like health stuff but also I have a problem with um, kind of things it's not I don't even know if it's anxiety because I do get nervous and of course I'm a worrier but it's even just me being calm I'm not a calm person at all like I know I come off to some people as really calm but it's very hard for me to calm down. I'm still not calm. I'm always, my mind's always going. And uh, my best friend even said she thinks that's probably why I talk so fast. Um, I know I'm not talking fast now um, because I'm trying to really think about my words. Um, so I don't have to like cut this all up. But basically, um, she thinks I talk fast because I have so much to say and my mind's constantly moving. And even like, like, I just like everything like I just get like rushes of energy and I want to do everything and I have so many goals and I'm so ambitious and it just hurts and I need to work on calming down and then also when I go to calm down sometimes I think about stuff that's hurt me and it's just a constant overflow there's been a lot like in the past four years a lot of family stuff and a lot of it resulted because of me um, not for anything bad but it was because I stood up for myself finally and that caused a lot of rift because I was a punching bag and people don't like when you stand up for yourself and had to deal with a lot of broken relationships and now they're trying to be repaired and you know just dealing with the fact that they're never going to be perfect again and they're never going to be there again and mourning so many people and it's just 
I had to stand up for myself to protect myself and protect my mental health, but it did come at a cost, and I had to defend um, other people in my life, um, people that aren't alive anymore that I loved so dear they would do whatever it took to get back. Um, obviously, it's not possible, but um, it all kind of catapulted because of that, and I, like, the whole situation, they can say whatever they want about me, I don't care if you say about, but if you say something about a loved one or somebody I really care about, I go full force because you don't mess with the people I love to me. Like, you don't say bad things or ill will towards them, especially to the dead, because if the person did nothing to you just because you're jealous does not mean you have the right to attack. And it's like this whole thing and it's all this stuff bringing up that's happened to me as a child and just reevaluating and looking at those relationships from a different angle from maybe I was being naive about things. It just, it's a whole thing and I'm just trying to work through everything and it's hard working through it because it's hard for me to let go because I'm still trying to protect the child in me but I'm an adult now and it's, ah, uh, okay. <sighs> I don't want to cry because I just did my makeup and I'm going out today. Um... But yeah, it's a whole cluster of stuff, and there's a lot of stuff from when I was a little that I don't really understand why people acted this way towards me. Um, I know it's out of jealousy, and um, not to be like egotistical and all that, but it is out of jealousy, um, not necessarily for me, but for the people that loved me. There's jealousy from others that are in the same position, um, that love me, um, that didn't put in the effort, and somebody else did, and they're jealous of that person for putting in the effort. And... I just, there's lots of stuff like me being calm, trying to get my health back together and trying to wish wash that is my main goal and sometimes I might not be in the right mood to make a video and I'm going to really try to pre-film and do all that and be diligent about that but sometimes if I'm not in a happy mood I don't want to put on a happy face film which I normally never do um, because in the school year I'm more ro like robotic like I try to keep my emotions intact because I can't let anything get me down because I do have a learning problem and I need to dedicate the most time I can to school and still have time for fun. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of things going on. I might make a more video in depth talking about it because sometimes I just feel like talking about it might help. Somebody might be in the same situation as me, but yeah, it's just like mental health and physical health. Like I just need to work on it and it's nothing too serious. Just it really upsets me. I don't, I like to fix things. I'm a fixer and I can't fix any of these relationships. So, and I still have to see all these people. So it's not like I can get away. So it's very hard and emotions get brought up, especially with my looming graduation because the person that I lost most of the relationships defending actually died before my grade 8 graduation, my grade 12 graduation she missed, and now this one, so even though I know, like, she would do whatever she could if she, like, like to be there, no matter what, and I believe she will be there in spirit, it's just, it's hard, and it's brought up a lot of emotions, that's why also I couldn't read the Fred Backman book, um, uh, my grandmother sends her regards and apologies because I was bringing way too much up, especially this graduation and all that, but... You know, I just want to put this video out there. Um, sorry about the delays in videos. If there's going to be anything, I'll try to remember to update. Just sometimes it's hard for me to even do that. Like, it's not like I'm sitting in bed crying, but it's like I just want to ignore everything. Um, and yeah, so if there is video cancellations and all that in the next few months, just bear with me, please. Um, you guys know that I'll get back on track, but I'm sure you guys will be, like, very kind in regards to this because I've never had really any problems with you guys. You guys have been so supportive and I'm so thankful for that. Although I'm really grateful that I have some, so many support systems. Um, I have some family members that I feel very comfortable talking to, um, about these issues. I have my best friend who's always got my back, um, and my other, like, really close friends too. Um, just she's the one that I tell, like, literally everything <laughs> to, um, and I don't have to hold back and I can be as volatile and just be truly myself. Like I can be myself, all my friends, but like really get into it and not like know that I'm not going to offend her or anybody else, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I have like a new support system in my life that, um, I'm really talking to this person a lot and it's definitely been making, like, it doesn't make the issues go away, but it makes me happy. And yeah, it's kind of and it. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.